everybody! Guess what I'm eating today? I'm eating buffalo wild wings. It's super, super hot out. I don't know what I was thinking earlier when I ordered these amazing lemon pepper wings. It's 108 degrees out right now. I'm kind of dying. I'm kind of melting. I'm kind of sweaty. Even my air conditioner is not really working. I mean, it's working, but I'm still like just so hot. But anyways, when I ordered these, I was like, oh man, this sounds really good. But yeah. Oh, and I have one mozzarella stick. I ordered for multiple people, but this is my order. So how's everyone doing today? I have a new camera. I'm really hoping it's gonna stay in focus. It's a whole new setup. Um, before I was using a DSLR, now I'm using the Sony. I don't know, I just hope it works. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this mozzarella stick because it looked really good. <gasps> oh, almost a cheese pull. Mm. So good. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. I forgot to do the whole food setup thing to make it look so aesthetic and pretty. I don't know. I assume this is supposed to be how everyone's doing it. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm really doing. Also, and I don't have a fork. Great. But bon appetit to this juicy chicken. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I ordered the extra crispy, and they are. I love the lemon pepper flavor. Mmm. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm like totally overheating also. So I had like the craziest cool thing happen. Not really cool, but anyways, I went to Taco Bell the other day. This guy asked me out. He like approached me, liked how I was eating my quesarito, I guess. And was like, I'd love to take you out. And so I was like, so flattered. Nobody ever asked me out. So I was like, sure, you know, why not? I mean, he seemed nice. He actually, I could tell that he put in a lot of effort to um, make like a proper introduction. So I was really into that. And I respect that. But I was also going to Disneyland, so I was busy. Not like, anyway, he texted me a lot. Clinging. And then, anyway, what happened was, I guess it kind of goes to him. It's only been like two days. This is the third day since it's happened. Um, I don't know. So he texted me late last night at like 12 p.m. I kind of haven't really been responding to him. Um, he was like, I'll, I'll post a screenshot too. He's like, oh man, I'm so sorry. I like just got out of jail. Whatever he said. I I'm sorry for any like canceled but I forget how he said it I was like, oh my god this dude was in jail he asked me out and he got arrested the next day and he just got out and he's still trying to talk to me I don't know I mean I don't say this was not a lifestyle choice that I wanted to be involved in I might tempted to text him and say like why you got arrested <laughs> But I don't want to open up communication because I think he's going to be clinging. I feel like he'd be like one of those guys that falls in love instantly and becomes attached really quickly and I don't have time for that. So, I don't know. I mean, I was flattered. He kind of reminded me of Boy Boy West Coast. But like heavier. Boy Boy West Coast, I think is really skinny. So I was like, oh, my friends were like, haha, it's off brand Boy Boy East Coast. And we were like laughing about it. But, yeah. So, anyways, I got asked out by a guy that was arrested. Um, 
the first person who texts me is that apparently is me. I have no. Just a little weird. <laughs> I'm not even gonna wipe my face because it's just gonna get messy on. I'm gonna get really, really messy. But I do need to get a towel. I'm gonna go grab a towel. I'll be right back. There, I kind of readjusted things when I went downstairs and got my fork. Um, I really need to work on my setups. I'm just trying to figure it out. But, you know. So, but anyway, my love life is just really questionable. I don't really want to date. But maybe I just want someone to hang out with. And like I've said before, I just don't really have time to focus on just keeping somebody else happy. Like romantically. Of course I want my friends, my family, my loved ones to be happy. But right now, I just don't think I have it in me to worry about maintaining somebody else's happy. I don't know. I'm trying to figure myself out. I don't know. I'm okay being single, but I'm, I kind of want to date also, but have fun. Not like no, not, nothing like no strings attached. But maybe just like hanging out, going to the movies. Like, I want to go see the new Aladdin movie, and nobody wants to go with me. I could just go by myself, but there's no fun in that. I can go see the movie for free on the airplane, like when it comes out, if I want to see a movie by myself. And my point was to, like, just go hang out with somebody at the movie theater, but none of my friends want to go. They all think it looks cheesy. Well, I don't think so. Oh my gosh, what do I do with my, oh, there, my napkins? Try their veggie slaw. Mm -hmm, it's good. It's kind of sweet. I'm trying to get a bite so I can show you guys. That focused. So tomorrow I'm going to Cancun. I've never been. A lot of people think I'm crazy that I you have know, traveled all over the world and I live in Los Angeles. I'm going to Cancun, it's like an easy flight. I've never been to Hawaii either. A lot of people go there. My thought is always that. If I'm really flying like six hours, why don't I just go ahead 
and fly the extra six and go to Hong Kong or Asia or Singapore, anywhere in Asia. Um, well, that's just me. And like Hawaii just seems so touristy to me. Like I don't want to go hang out with tourists. Same with Cancun. I'm only going because I have like this opportunity to go out there for free. That's like a an invite from the property. I'm excited. I'm very grateful. But I just normally would never go go out of my way to go there. It's like so hot here in Southern, in Southern California, Los Angeles, where I live right now. It's 108, at least according to my, my car. I think the internet said it was like 104. Granted, I live in like one of the cities that gets hotter during the summer colder during the winter, but I love my city. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, I should go bite that was really dry. Let me get some later. You know whose wings I really like? It's Hooters wings. A lot of uptight women usually think, oh no, it's women, they're taking advantage of women. No. It's just food. With an ambiance, I suppose. But I'm also not insecure, so I don't judge those women, or any Hooter girl, or any woman in general, for how she looks or what she decides to do with her spare time. Like, I'm not insecure enough to think that those Hooter girls are going to, like, try to steal my man, you know, if I had one. I used to work at Hooters. I was a corporate trainer. So I actually appreciate it, but I'm just saying in general, I, um, I know how a lot of women especially feel. And I think, oh, those girls are so slutty. They're so skanky. Me, 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 me. No. You're good people. And who are you to judge? And they sit behind their religion. Sometimes they find that sometimes even like the most vocal Christians or people of religion, like whatever your religion is, the people who are the most vocal tend to be the most judgmental. And like the quick first ones to cast down. But then they're, they're acting like they're like all godly. I don't know. I don't get religion sometimes when it gets like that. Cause like, who are you to judge that woman for what she chooses to do with her body? She's not being forced into it. She's not being manipulated. I'm just saying. You know what I forgot to do? I'm gonna do it in one of my next videos. There's this guy, Korea, that holds like all his chicken wings. And then he just takes a bite with the other one. I've tried doing it a couple times as I love how it looks where he's like, ah. But I forgot to do it this time.
It might look like I'm leaving a lot on the bone, but it's really just like crunch. There's no breading, there's no meat. It's just like skin. It's really crunchy. I'm done. I'm full. I ate 14 wings. Well, I ate 10 wings. What a boss. Not really. But it's been really hot here. And I'm just like really roasting. And I just, uh, I was so hungry earlier. Wings sounded so delicious. Lemon pepper wings, especially. But I'm so hot. It's hard to eat a good meal when you're super hot. But I hope my new video turns out okay with this new camera. It's like a Sony something. I don't know. But when I was testing it out, it stayed in focus really well. And that's what I wanted. Because I'm always trying to show everybody, like, my bites of whatever I'm eating. And it always, like, never auto-focuses. Even though before my DSLR is really nice. It takes amazing photos. I have great lenses. Blah, blah. But I need something just a little bit easier and quicker to set up. So hopefully this will be it. I'm still working on my setup because I need my lighting and all that's back there. It's really just me doing this, so trying to get everything lined up is sometimes complicated, but yeah. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram also at tastes like or tastes like underscore yellow. Um, yeah. So thank you so much, and tell me if you guys think I should. Well, no. Tell me if you think I should go text that guy that got arrested back and see why he got arrested. I don't know. Maybe I should just not mess with it. I don't need the drama. But it's entertaining, right? Mm. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you.